When you think of urban markets, it's hard not to imagine a butcher slicing up fresh meat. Well, today we met the downtown market's new butchers. It's a Lakeshore family moving to the wealthy in 131 location. New at 6 o'clock, we're detailing how much more their meat costs and why they say it's worth it. And 24 All News 8's Ryan Takeo joins us live in studio to break this one down. Montello's executive butcher figures their meat prices are about one third more than what you'll see at the grocery store. The Larson family is comfortable. You won't mind paying when you taste what you get. When you see what goes into a sirloin tip, we're doing a sirloin tip roast. You'll find it's a lot more than just trimming off the fat. I mean, once you recognize that it's dry aging, it looks appetizing. For Sam Larson, Montello Meat Market's executive butcher, it's a waiting game, too. Everything at Montello's is dry aged for at least three weeks. The Larsons maintain you can taste the difference. Even our burger. The ground beef is even more flavorful than you can possibly imagine. If you can swallow the cost. We randomly looked at three pieces of meat and went to this family fair down the street from Montello's. We found the price of most everything almost double, from brats to the porterhouse. Same with the sirloin tip, what we found Sam Larson slicing up. He adds his family uses local farmers who, quote, humanely raise their cows. So you might end up paying more for the cut you want and after their weight. I mean, it's been dry aged for four weeks, so it's going to be, I mean, more tender than someone's comparable roast or the same cut. Downtown market official told me the artisan merchants are not competing on everyday low prices, but instead on quality. Now, go back a couple weeks. You remember in our week long series, market officials told us that they will have different price points. So if you wanted to buy a cheap eat, you can do that too, Sue.